Hello, happy fuck it Friday, ish. Right, um, I'll show you something in a minute. Bit disappointed, but it's all right, it's gonna be sorted. I want a drink. Little girl got it me from Cyprus. Well, they were bronzing themselves when I was at home. Keeping the house going, looking after the dog, nursing a hangover. So yeah, no antics. As I've said, I think uh, it's farewell to Fuck It Fridays until summer. Big up to the Banana Man for uh, managing to keep it going. Um, don't know where you find the time. Anyway, so I'm going to have one tiny little attempt at layering some beer. And, um, well, see how we get on. And then I'll show you my bits. So, London Porter. We'll see. And, um, sorry about that. Yeah, so, top layer. Punk IPA. Comes in cans now. Still get it in balls, but... Seems to come in cans most of the time. Love this stuff. Let's give it a day. So, let that do its thing. Um, as I said to you in my uh, homebrew Wednesday video, I'm going to be um, uh, doing, um, excuse me, I'm going to be doing hopefully a couple of brews this weekend. I told you the disaster with the um, uh, liquid malt extract kit thing, which I said I'm ever going to do, do again and I'm not. But Jakey from Jake's Craft, Craft Brewing suggested that I, um, for the the gap fills because I can't brew every week or even every fortnight I'd love to but you know I work every other weekend so he suggested as a stop gap uh, for a decent brew is um, use dry malt extract which I've never really done before so I'm gonna have a do at that this weekend so I've been and bought myself some um, bits and bats uh, basically some dry malt extract um, some grains which he suggested uh, for one of the IPAs that he sent. So basically I'm going to make an IPA uh, but I'm also going to do an all grain for my um, either wit or Weiss uh, F. Uh, I haven't decided yet but I'm going to do one or the other on um, Sunday. Let's see if my um, beer is separated. Hmm. I think it might be. Well, fuck my old boots. I got cracking separation. Ooh. Ooh. Fantastic. Happy fuck it Friday. Not bad, not bad at all. Right, let me show you what I've bought. I told you I was getting them. Well, actually, they're a present from the missus. My stainless steel, oh, that's lovely. Let's just have another sip. Mm. Don't know how well you can see that. Hole in the front there for the tap. Nice sturdy handles, which are a, an optional extra. I had to get those welded on. Lovely thick stainless steel top. There's 
obviously holes there, one for the handle and one for the, um, what do you call it, so it comes with your um, air locks with a, a custom little um, rubber seal, grommet, which I hope I don't fucking lose because I won't be able to get any more of them, will I? It comes with the little stainless steel tap, which is quite nice, I think. I'm not sure what pipe will go on there, but I'll find a piece of silicon pipe to go on there. Um, got the lugs around the sides here. Handle, straightforward. Um, and then these wee little brackety things that screw into these lugs here and silicon ring there and cause a night uh, create a nice seal. So wonderful. However, oh, cover that up. It's got me a dress on. You'll be sending me fucking death threats. Right. Now I'll put some images up because um, I've taken some photographs and sent it through uh, to these guys because basically I'm a bit pissed off because these were a lot of money I mean they basically worked out at 224 euros for two a lot of that shipping getting the handles welded on etc 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 but I'll just pull the camera off, I'll show you, one sec. Basically, it's crap. There is lots of scuffs. The welding's very poor quality on the inside. And at the end of the day, if there's any um, imperfections, uh, shit welding, scratches, basically where they've, where they've took off the excess weld on the inside, looks as though they've possibly used a, an angle grinder, well, they've caught the bottom. And there's just scratches and crap everywhere. So I'm completely pissed off. So basically I've told them to stick them up their ass. Um, I'm not going to name the company yet. You can probably just send it on the front of there. But I'm going to give them a chance to put it right. They have eventually come back to them. Because I've had these. I don't know when to place the original order. But I've had these a while. I mean these, these this has gone on six, six eight weeks now. Um, but I received delivery of these. Um, on about well around my birthday which was the 16th so that's I think when I received them ish and um, or just after and I've been fucking about with them ever since trying to get them to respond to my emails but eventually they've responded they've uh, agreed to replace them so I just hope that the new ones that come through are okay because it means I've got to dick around now trying to parcel all of these up to get them back to them in a, a safe manner. They're paying the, you know, in fairness, they're sending new ones. They're covering the shipping back to um, Italy for them. So, you know, I'm not going to judge the company on um, the problems that we've had up to now. I'm going to judge them on how they deal with it. Um, and if they don't deal with it, well, <laughs> well, um, there you go. The shit will hit the fan. I'll unleash a fucking shitstorm on them. But I'm sure it's not going to come to that. Right, sorry about that. Bit of dicking around. Um, so yeah, 
let's um, let's hope that that problem gets dealt with and I can start using my new fermenters because at the minute obviously I can't use them and this has gone on for way too long so I'm still using the plastic ones and I've broken another tap just tonight actually okay so that's it happy fuck it Friday have a lovely weekend I'll see you soon bing bong over and out